I've got three words for this economy. Frightening. But if you're over 50, I know I don't have to tell you that. People over 50 for the first time in a half century, those workers have lost jobs at a higher rate than younger workers. And many people over 50, they're underemployed because they don't have the skills to compete in this new economy. But my friends, don't worry. The economy, the economy is about, he says tongue in cheek, the economy is about to be built back better. I wrote to you because, um, you know, I was laid off in July and it's, it's just been a tough time as far as trying to find work. Working is, uh, is, is part of who we are. We're putting together a plan that provides for emergency relief to people who are in desperate need now. Everything from mortgage payments to unemployment insurance to rental subsidies to food security for children. It provides for some small and medium-sized businesses to be able to open. We're so glad that you are. <laughs> We're so glad that we have you focusing on that. Count me, count me as one of those people who are glad, who are glad you're focusing on those things, Mr. President, and you should. The lackluster job report, the report that came out last week, it showed job growth has stalled. Just 49,000 jobs were added from the previous month. The unemployment rate, yes, it's down. It's down to 6.3%, but according to the report, we're still down over 10 million jobs from pre-pandemic levels. But the real unemployment number, when you include workers who have left the labor market or who are underemployed, if you add those numbers in, the unemployment number could be 23 million, and that's according to economist Mark Hambrick at Bankrate. So yes, Mr. President, the economy and workers, they need help now. So when that stimulus money finally arrives, you'll probably, probably hear a collective sigh of relief. You may even hear a hallelujah. But, but we know this, the short-term problems, yeah, maybe they're answered. But what about tomorrow? Nothing coming out of Washington is addressing the longer-term problems the job market is facing. There's been no mention of investing in the creation or the retooling of skill sets workers need in a changing economy. An economy that accepts ageism as the norm and more and more favors younger workers. Roughly one million older workers would have jobs now if the unemployment rate, their unemployment rate, match workers between the ages of 35 and 54. If you want to build back better than earmark stimulus money towards programs that will help all workers, including including older workers, develop skills so they can be employed at a livable wage. The Congressional Budget Office, last week they released a report that said the economy, even without a trillion dollar stimulus infusion, But that same report, that same report says the labor market, the labor market won't return to pre-pandemic levels until the middle of 2024. Workers can't afford to wait that long. Not when 51% of workers over 50 don't have emergency savings to fall back on. And they certainly shouldn't be waiting for jobs that are likely to be low paying jobs. Look, our recovery plan also calls for an increase in the minimum wage at 15, at least $15 an hour. No one in America should work 40 hours a week making below the poverty line. $15 gets people above the poverty line. The solution isn't raising the minimum wage to $15 per hour. The solution is helping workers, young and older, get the training and skill sets that they need so they can get one of those build back better jobs. Now, there's no question that the stimulus bill is critical to the U.S. economy. But there's also no question that it's short-sighted. It's a short-sighted solution because it ignores the long-term problems that were exasperated by the pandemic. This bill, it fails. It fails to provide what is just simply the long-term solution to the woes that millions of U.S. workers have been experiencing for decades. Those woes, especially for people over 50, include unemployment, underemployment, and, dare we say it, ageism. It's undoubtedly too late to include long-term solutions to this short-sighted stimulus plan. Sadly, I don't have faith that long-term solutions to the U.S. job woes will be a political or economic goal anytime soon. But I believe if you and me, if we bring it up enough, maybe, just maybe, the folks in Washington 
will have no choice but to really build back better. Well, that's all I got for you today, folks. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm the publisher of Over 50 TV. If I if I haven't asked or if you haven't noticed a little button down in the in the left corner of the video, the button says to subscribe. If you feel that you enjoy this video, if you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. There's also a little bell. Only if you hit that little bell will you get our latest updates. And those updates will be delivered to your inbox. So every single time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Well, like I said, that's all I've got for you. And one other thing I always say, have a great day, everybody.